Alright guys, welcome to your second Ruby tutorial, and before I start showing you guys the Ruby code, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about computer programs in general. So, just remember that computers can't understand English. Computers can only understand simple instructions. Now, in Ruby programming, we call these instructions commands. So basically, whenever we write a Ruby program, it's going to be made up of a bunch of little commands and each command is going to be on a separate line so just remember that we can tell the computer what to do by writing a bunch of little commands or instructions and whenever we put a bunch of these commands together we turn it into basically a computer program that's all a computer program is a bunch of little commands pretty much put together simple enough so let me go ahead and show you guys a very simple command we already looked at one in the last tutorial which was like 7 plus 4 or something like that but let me show you guys a command just so I can talk you guys through so I know you guys don't know what any of this stuff means yet but let me just go ahead and type something real quick um mm, bacon just like that and end so basically what I wrote is this seven times do print mm, bacon end okay sounds kinda weird well this is a sample or an example rather of a very simple Ruby command even though we can't understand it it's a command that Ruby can understand oh excuse me got some phlegm in my throat so basically our language is different than Ruby's language and it's my job I guess to teach you Ruby's language so another thing that I want to point out before we continue along is let's take a look at the interactive Ruby environment this IRB just stands for interactive Ruby and it's basically just the program don't mind this main for right now I'll talk about that later on now the 001 is just the line number the very first command we write is going to be 001 the next one is going to be on line 002 if we were to write something else such as I know you guys don't know this command either but um like this one it would be on 002 the next one would be on 003 so on and so forth now after this you see an additional number which is 000, zero, zero this number is the depth and I'm gonna talk about the depth later on when we begin talking about classes and stuff like that but for now on just concentrate concentrate on the line number one two three each command you write is on a separate line now while I'm talking about the interactive Ruby environment I guess I might as well mention this because I know a lot of you guys are like wow this is pretty much the most boring looking program ever if you want to change the colors of this text then go ahead and right click it and choose properties and if you go to font you can go ahead and change the size of it colors you can go ahead and change the text color and I'll probably change these from tutorial for, to tutorial depending on you know whatever mood I'm feeling but you can go ahead and change all the colors here so now with that being said like I said my job is to teach you the basic commands basically I want to teach you the language that Ruby understands now probably the most basic command and the easiest to understand is just a print statement go ahead and write print now in between double quotation marks go ahead and write anything like hello um, people of YouTube now go ahead and hit the enter button and whenever you hit enter it basically takes what's ever in between those quotation marks and it prints it out on the screen in this case hello people of YouTube now what nil means is you say okay it printed that out good job Ruby but it also has this little equals and arrow sign and it has nil what the heck is this well don't worry about the equals arrows right now I'll be talking about that later on but nil I'll explain this nil pretty much means nothing nil nil equals nothing so why does it say hello people of YouTube nothing that doesn't make sense either basically it says nil because you have nothing or no errors you didn't mess up at all pretty much all your code was typed perfectly like Ruby expected if you do type a command or something that Ruby doesn't understand for example just go ahead and then slam your fingers across the keyboard and type something random now if we hit enter Ruby's not gonna understand this command it doesn't make sense it doesn't even make sense to us so go ahead and hit enter and we see that 
we get an error message name error undefined local variable so that's the difference between a successful command and an error whenever you have a successful command for example this print command is just going to go ahead and run that command and return nil and whenever you have an error or something it doesn't understand an error typically looks like this it says what type of error it is and then it gives you some information about it so basically that's the difference between a successful command a very simple basic command and an error so I just want to tell you guys that give you guys a little history of computer programs what they're made up of basically I showed you guys a simple print statement such as print hello people of YouTube that's a very basic command but there are a ton of other commands that we need to know for the Ruby programming language and again if you ever have an error you're gonna see something like this right here so anyways in the next tutorial I'm gonna be talking about how to do some simple math with Ruby as well as teaching you guys about something called variables and it's going to be amazingly exciting so anyways thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video